What's up, YouTubers? It's been a while since I made a video. I've been uh, battling a sinus infection, uh, but I'm getting over that. It was pretty savage, but I've got a lot of cards in the mail. i got a lot of videos to make, and I'm going to start today with something I'm pretty excited about. I've got a 1983 Fleer Jumbo Rack Pack. One of my last videos, I did a grocery rack pack that had 45 cards. This one has me doubly excited because it has 84 cards, 6 stickers, and it's got my boy Larry... Blitner here on the front, looking like the old guy that got invited to spring training. And uh, they felt sorry for him, so they gave him a spot on the club. And uh, Paul Splitter off here, looking like a cross between Christopher Reeves and James Spader. Uh, but uh, I've uh, been on the hunt for the Ryan Sandberg, Tony Gwynn, and Wade Boggs rookies. I've opened up uh, some solo packs and that rack pack and uh, have always come up empty. But I'm feeling good today, getting over that sickness. I got my penny sleeves and top loaders here ready for some rookies. And the great part about this is you don't have to worry about it being searched because we got a sealed rack pack and then it looks like three small individually sealed cello packs inside there. Lighting is horrible. I apologize for that. But let's get right into this and we'll uh, see if we get lucky. 1983 Fleer. My buddy that uh, I work with asked me, why don't you just buy those rookie cards you're looking for singly? I said, what is the point of that? If you don't pull it out of a pack, it's not legit. And I'm trying to be too legit. Let's stack those up right there. And we will get right into the first small little cello here. See if I can fix this lighting at all. It's horrible. Oh, well. So that's as good as it's going to get. We'll roll with that. All right. Oh, that sucks. There. We'll move that. Does that look better? Can't tell. All right. Jerry Garvin on the front there with the Blue Jays. Pat Tabler with the Cubs before he got traded to the Indians on the back. That came off really easy. And let's get right into here and see what we get here. Got Jerry Garvin. Vita Blue, Superstar Special. It's one of those split cards. It's probably Bud Black and Vita Blue. Black and Blue would be my guess. John Candelaria. A rare accident shot. They need to bring back those yellow pants. Kent Tacovey, one of my favorite closers back from the late 70s, early 80s. Sporting the shades. Atlee Hammaker. Only got to give up a Grand Slam in an All-Star game to Fred Lynn in 83. Billy's small sample size. And there's the Bud Black finishing off the black and blue. Like a little puzzle. Bill Gullickson. Expos. Randy Lurch. The Expos. Sixto Lescano. Great early 80s baseball name. I've never heard of Sixto. Tom Underwear. Two teams, same day. Joel Youngblood played a game during the day with the Mets, got traded, and flew to Montreal and played a uh, game that night. Only guy to ever do that. Terry Forster. Candy Maldonado before he got traded to the Giants. And we're going to have two stickers in this sleeve. we got the Phillies and Rangers there. David Green. Jerry Mumphrey. Gaylord Perry looking old and fat. I think this is his last year card. First Hall of Famer. Ed Glenn looking depressed because he's not playing. Larry Sorensen. Omar Moreno sporting the nice yellow hat. Gary Ward. Don Sutton. Another Hall of Famer there. I guess every year he pitched he looked like he was about 45. Charlie Lee Brandt. Later to give up a famous World Series home run in uh, Game 6 against Kirby Puckett. Tom Seaver, third pitcher Hall of Famer out of this sleeve. Steve Rogers. Mike Armstrong. Ron Hodges and Pat Tabler. So we got three Hall of Famers out of that sleeve. Tom Seaver, Don Sutton, and Gaylord Perry. Let's get into the second one here. Hopefully we will pull one of those rookies. Larry Blitner, never heard of that guy. Let's see what we got. Ex 
extensive stats on the back. So he's a long-tenured pro, over 1,000 career games. Good for old Larry. Jerry Augustine. Fred Breening. Looking pretty frightening. D. Wayne Kuyper. Now announcer for the Giants. Tommy John surgery. Randy Martz, who can't even get centered on his card. Pat Zachary. Hey, there we go. Finally got one. Tony Wynn rookie card. Let's get that up and get that in a penny sleeve here. Get it in a top loader. Just uh, judging by the centering on it, the centering looks pretty solid. Let's get this in a sleeve. If I can get it in there. That's what she said. Very nice. All right. Tony Gwynn. My first Tony Gwynn rookie card I've ever owned. And you saw it here live. I can get a dang top loader out of the package. Get this slid in there. There you have it. We'll leave that right back there looking nice. Finish up the sleeve. Maybe we can get the Sandberg now and the Wade Boggs as well. Rupert Jones, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. He always looked like that. He announces for the Red Sox now. It still looks like that. Bob Walk looking cracked out. Porfirio Altamarino. Joaquin Andujar, one tough Dominican. Tito Landrum. Spaced out Detroit Tigers logo. Tiger looks like it's on crack. Pirates logo. Nice Cal Ripken there. Don't have that card. Willie Upshaw. Manny San Martino. Or San Marinto, whatever. Ed, not related to Mel Ott. Randy Johnson. Before he became a star pitcher, he was a utility outfielder. And part-time DH. Milt May. Bill Stein, Brenner. Carlos Diaz, Bill Castro, John Wathen, before he became the manager, Chris Welsh, Davey Lopes, another guy that always looked like he was like 40 years old, Dave Nogzima, Dave Rucker. All right. Pretty good out of that sleeve. Got the Tony Wynn rookie, Cal Ripken, and Dennis Eckersley. And let's go to our last sleeve here. So far, this has been a very... Very nice rack pack. I paid uh, $16 for this and a couple bucks for shipping, so I'm already happy. I don't care. Paul Splitter off. Rusty Staub. It's got to be one of his last year cards. Almost 300 career home runs. 287 for Rusty. Louis Dirty Sanchez. Ron Jackson. Steve Garvey. Larry Pashnick. Bo Diaz, look out for that uh, satellite dish, Bo. Glenn Hoffman. Louis Aponte. Jose Cruz. Ron Hassey, got to be the slowest guy in the history of baseball. Bruce Bochty, my favorite uh, Fleer Star sticker. Al Pumbry. Joe Nolan. Yankees and Angels stickers. Tom Pasarek, I think. Mario Soto. Don on the money, Mickey Three Rivers, Mike Reichart, Rod Carew getting mad hits, Keith Moreland with the Cubs, Dave King Kong Kingman, home runner strikeout, Rick Langford sporting some savage chest hair, Dave McKay, Jim Rice, another Hall of Famer, Rick Mailer, Marty Bystrom, and Roger Erickson finishes off that rack pack. But uh, let's see, Hall of Fame wise, we got Jim Rice, Rod Carew, Cal Ripken, Eckersley, Tom Seaver, Don Sutton, and Gaylord Perry. I think uh, those first four, I do not have those cards at all. The Seaver, the Sutton, and the Gaylord Perry I have gotten in previous packs. And the Coup de Gras, that pack, obviously the Tony Gwynn rookie card with spot on centering and corners that look very good. That might be worth sending in to get graded. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I'm going to have some uh, more content coming up over the next couple days. We'll fill up some more penny sleeves and top loaders.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.